We got no frames on the webcam. We got frames on the webcam. Let's go. Continue. So I forgot, what were we trying to do last time? I think we were talking about possibly doing the lower on Deadburg skip because the odds of us actually we were talking about go to the catacombs thank you we're gonna be going to the catacombs today we're gonna make progress i i tell you that gargoyles are seath and priscilla unbeatable right now we're very tough to beat um asylum is priscilla very tough to beat whoa things got a little hot there and moist um, Dark Root Basin is Priscilla. That's going to be hard right now. We're working on it. What about the Four Kings? We First off, we can't even make progress in New Londo Ruins right now because there is one room where the door frame is just completely overrun by huge and impossible enemies um so it's really this is all about the catacombs here this is all about the catacombs have you gotten the items underneath the elevator honestly i can't remember I, I, I got some of the items around here i bet i did but why don't we go down that way if we're going to the catacombs anyway you know, we, we can start midway through the catacombs, and or midway through the graveyard, instead of having to start at the, the mouth. See, even this is just, it's just two difficult enemies. Well, I, we will be starting at the mouth. This guy's not much of a bleeder. I think we just got to sprint, honestly. We're not killing any. Maybe we can kill this guy. Uh, just keep it going. Just keep it going. Past the Dark Wraith statue. Ooh. We can do it. I've got no fear. Ooh, it's it's all oh Oh, so you can bleed but you can't be bled? Real fair, Miyazaki. Hello, large humanity. May I? Just before you just before you get here. <laughs> so why is that so cursed, dude? Ah Let me in, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What are you? What are you? Okay. A real test of skill. Perma staggered. As long as we have as long as we have the stand for two hits, we got this guy. Goodbye, sir. Goodbye. Alright, here we go. This will be a test of your luck. This guy doesn't really scare me. They don't even, like, attack. Usually. He just kind of backs it up. How about you, sir? So I'm going to use the slightest bit of resin. Ah! The cats always try to go to the forest. I did not know that. Why take him out? Because I want to see what his, uh, what his loot is. If he had loot, like maybe it was Titanite, that could have been a big moment. Okay, this is not horrendous. I'd rather have the weird uh, demon. We got to save and reload, unfortunately, though. 
I would rather have the weird demon than have the uh, the toxic blow dart guy. February clip video slapped. Thank you. I do. I left it in the comments, but I, I want to own up. I made the clip video and last month I said like, hey, I'm going to this time. I'm going to credit everybody who made the clips. And then I made the whole video and uploaded it. And then I went, ah, shit. I forgot. So for next month, 100%. I've written it down. You have my solemn vow, exactly. Sir, you've come to the wrong neighborhood. I'm suing? If anything, I'll sue you for making a clip. It's my content in the first place. But we, you know, there's an equitable way for this to get done. No, don't crash! There's an item back there! See ya. Spear. What do you got? Someone's moving. There's no doubt about that. Oh! Oh! Big Daddy, where did you come from? Does grass bleed? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. That's fair. That's fair. I can live with that. Why does my smoke alarm go off when there is exclusively no smoke? Look, I don't even want to get into this because, like, here's my philosophy on all that stuff, okay? I live in a reality where I have never had to deal with a house fire or, like, you know, really a fire of any sort. So, clearly, fire safety is working out pretty well for me. However, our new smoke detector goes off literally every time I cook. And I know you're like, that's because you're cooking raw. This is like, I, I've been cooking for years. It's just... Well, no! This smoke detector is just so unbelievably sensitive. When I pull stuff out of the oven, the steam or the heat sets it off. When I saute stuff, if I take the lid off... You know, of the, of the pan or the sauce pot, it sets off the, the smoke detector every single time. It's too much. It's too much. I'm telling you, when... He's still coming, huh? It's like, in our, at our old place, I get this is like mandated by the fire department. And again, I can't stress enough how much I enjoy not dying in a fire. It's one of my favorite things to avoid. However... Sometimes, like, they were doing fire drills in my old building literally, like, once every six weeks. So what happened is, you know, when we first moved in, everybody evacuated during the fire alarm. By the time we moved out, nobody ever evacuated because everybody was like, it's just another drill. Yeah, it, it definitely, I went through the same thing in university as well. People were like, they stopped going out for the fire drills just because of the fact that you're like, oh, it's not a fire, it's a real, it's just a drill. One day is going to be a real fire. I think we just have to sprint, dude.
We still want the items, though. Oh, dude, that's a Titanite. That's a source of Titanite. Not you! Like, everybody knows that you should always vacate during a fire alarm, you know? That's not like... You're, you're, you're preaching to the choir on that one. However, you know, when it's... Uh, God damn it, dude. When it's 5.30 a.m. <laughs> when it's 5.30 a.m. and you've had two drills this month already and the alarm goes off, a lot of people are going to be like, I'm just going to wait in bed till at least I smell the smoke. Good stuff, good stuff. That's why I have a water bed. <laughs> that, that would probably keep you safe for, uh, I don't know, about a second would be my, my guess. Okay, here's what you do. Wait for these things to go off. Push these dudes off the edge. I can live with that, dude. Uh, I think I saw someone behind me, so I'm gonna run. I see someone in front of me, too, though. Oh my god. Good, gentle Jesus. What is this? These are like five enemies that can kill you in one hit. Hello, Joshua. That's Titanite, man? Yeah, I know. It's a little, it's a little hot down here, though. I mean, our, the catacombs on the last randomizer, thank God. The catacombs on the last randomizer was screwed up as well, but this one has been way, way harder. I think, you know, should just stick to the wisdom. That all you need to do is run very fast. And don't be afraid. Gotta hit that. And then if you kill me, you kill me. Like, whatever. We, we hit the switch. Um, hello? What is this guy? Avalyn. Is that Patch? Patches, what are you doing over there? I don't know if I've ever seen you there. Oh! But believe it or not, I think the backstab saved me from the boar. Let me through, please, sir. I should very much like to go. <laughs> That's alright. That's alright. Come to expect it and come to accept it. Now I'm like, can you, can you just jump? Why not, right? Drink up. I drink my milkshake. Do you see? Was <laughs> just getting tag teamed from the top rope. Extreme madness. Here you go. Bait him. Bait him just slightly. We gotta heal. No matter what, we gotta heal. I don't know if we have the vit for this, to be honest with you. But here we are. They're very good. They're very good. Can you deal with that? You know what movie that's from? That's right. Meet the parents. A true 
popcorn classic. No! Well, I love this. He's done it, dude. That was easy. All right, but be cool down here. You never know when things are going to get a spicy. What is that? What are you? You're a clam? Incredible spawn. You, di you did a great job. But we're just moving. We're just moving. We're grabbing items. We're moving. The peculiar doll. We can... Once we get to... <laughs> Fuck you, dude. Once we get to Anne Orlando, we can go to the painted world. It might be worth killing the cats to see if you can get a drop. This is very astute. Okay, let's... Roast Goldman first. Excuse me, brother. Can you just move slightly? Well, I guess we won't be executing this plan anytime soon. Maybe he can punch the cat? Saul Goodman? Saul Goldman? Um, I, I finished uh, Better Call Saul. Season 4 yesterday, dude. It's a very good show. An extremely very good show. How'd you like the ending line? I get it. Yeah, season five. Whip. Got a long wait up here in Canada. Probably will not. I mean, we just got season. I, you know what? Never mind. I get AMC. So I'm pretty sure I could just watch it when it actually airs. I know there's a couple episodes down already, but or one episode down. Oh, the bleed. What do you got? You got a drop? Nope. Decent amount of souls, though. Okay, you know the strat. Don't get hit. You bait him. Give him a little bit. It's fine. That's not so bad. That's really bad. We're dead. Yeah, at least it's no toxic dart, dude. I mean, I, I don't know. This This section is pretty bad. I think it's as bad as the last catacomb section, but in a different way. Like, that's not bad. Then, you just look at these guys and you say, you know what? This doesn't... <laughs> these guys don't look that bad. Oh, no knives. No knives. He's got knives, dude. But it's okay. I'll take the humanity. Strange creature. Hate this guy. Just go. Hello. Hello. I hear steppers that frighten me. 
some very, very scary steppers behind this door. Yeah, I skipped the humanity because we got to wait for the freaking skeletons to go off. And then this fire lord is a piece of garbage as well. And the skeletons didn't even go off. Look, don't worry too much about the humanity. There's literally infinite humanity spawning in the New Londo ruins. What the heck is that? Well, that just took us back to where we were. So I don't know if I would recommend doing that one. It was a pretty impressive jump in the whole scheme of things, though. Hey, can you just, like, not do this? That's the ideal way to take that guy out. Yeah, 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 okay. You didn't say the line? What line? Oh, please excuse my friend, he's dead tired. Plank shield. Why would you ever use this? <laughs> Don't kill me. There could at any moment. Could run into trouble. This is worth it for me. This is worth it for me. Large humanity creature is very slow. I see some exploding skeletons down there. Oh, it's a freaking... It's... It's the whole menagerie! What? It's the... It's... I... That's what the... Can't move! He can't move. He can't move. He can't move. I'm trapped in here. I'm trapped in here, dude. I'm trapped in here. I'm not trapped in here. I'm not trapped in here. Alright, we bum rush Pinwheel and hope it's a maybe like default Ornstein. That's our path. Wet food revenge. <laughs> yeah. Let me out. Good jump. See ya. Quick heal up. World's fastest roll. That was just a whiff on my part, honestly. Quick heal up. Oh my god, You went, how did you cross the bridge? You got the greatest pathfinding video game history. He wouldn't... This is madness, dude. Oh my god, just just go ahead. You are in this one. After all that, I lived. Hey buddy. At least we can get the item. This could be a big one, you never know. That seems potentially sort of useful. I got strength. 
Even if it's not better than the washing pole long term. Might be good enough for, for right now. Nope, can't even use it with two hands. Oh, can we? Hold on. Yes, we can. Okay. Hope I lived. <laughs> I'm not really worried about healing, because I don't really feel like we're probably going to do this on attempt one. I think it's Priscilla. Oh my god. I actually think it's Priscilla. Um, it's hard. It's so it looks like a white robed creature. I don't know. Confirm not Priscilla. That is uh that is the stray demon. But the stray demon is beatable, dude. Although I got to admit that uh, that AOE attack is not going to feel very good in this uh, tiny room. Still not really as much damage as I was hoping for, to be honest. But he does bleed. That's right. Not today. I've got it all figured out, baby. I got it all figured out. I got the whole freaking strat locked up in the old cerebrum. Oh! Big daddy, dude! I agree. Oh, no. Next step is kindling, for sure. He climbed it! He mantled! Yeah, yeah, kindling is a... That's, that's gonna be very helpful for us. I Dude, this is beatable. The problem is we haven't really gotten anything else for being here. Um, which is really, like, what we need, to be honest. We can... That was a terrible start. We can beat him. We've beaten this guy without getting hit. On this very, uh... On this very save. On this very randomizer. Can you go to patches and look for items? You can't get the patches on this side, can you? Like, the, the, the only patches that I know is the patches on Tomb of the Giants. And you can't get to Tomb of the Giants unless you beat the pinwheel. You saw him earlier? Yeah, but he was separated by, like, a, a rock wall. I can also see that dang waterfall. It doesn't mean I can go take a bath, you know? Ooh, he's done it. Excuse me? Who the heck is this? <laughs> Paladin Leroy. I would never. I would never. Imagine summoning for Pinwheel. <laughs> Yeah, this is this is the bulk body, without a doubt. I like how they give you you can't do that. Are you out of your mind? Well you're trying to heal as soon as you land on this fight. Okay, there's your chance.
It's gonna be real tricky. The bleed's not too bad, though. The bleed is doable. That's the danger. No. We really need to get the bleed trigger. Yeah, I felt that one. We can we can definitely do it. It's doable, but it's gonna be a little bit of a pain in the butt. Pancaked by drunk straight even. It's a bad seed, dude. Hey NL, big fan. I've never come to Twitch though. I'm happy to have you here. If you've only been watching on YouTube, uh, you've been missing half the content over the years. But you know what? The best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. Second best time is right the frick now, dude. Well worth it? Yeah, and it goes both ways. People don't think it goes both ways. If you're only watching on Twitch, you're missing half the content as well. Go subscribe on YouTube. We're on a chartered jet about to take off in 2020. I'm sitting 1A because I'm the pilot. You're welcome to sit 1B. Have your tray table up and your seat back in the full upright position. The seats don't recline. You know why the seats don't recline? Because on Northern Lion Airlines, we give you ample leg room. You don't need the recline. I can make it. Oh, that, that's a little ambitious. <laughs> well, I made it. Let me in, please. Oh, it's no apology necessary. No apology necessary. I mean, I've talked, I haven't flown in a long time, which honestly is looking like the play this month. Seems to be, seems to be the right strat. We're gonna live. Told you. Um, I really do feel like, and I, I don't work for the freaking airlines, you know, obviously, but I feel like, oh my god, we rode on his head. Like, why don't they just give you the whole can? I know people are going to be like, it adds up. But like, really? People are paying like 600 bucks for a ticket? You can't even get, give them the whole can of drink? There's no other places you could you could make your margin better. They do if you ask. Yeah, so why don't they just do it always? They, the reason the shit annoys me is because the labor they are paying the flight attendant has to be more to get them to crack the bad thing open. Bad thing? To crack the thing open? Well, we're dead. Pour it. And then hit somebody else with the next can, etc, etc. They're already on the flight. Yeah, I know, but they could provide better service if they weren't spending, you know... 5% of their labor trying to min-max, you know, the amount of Coca-Cola that gets served. I 
I think if you had 5,000 passengers a day, you wouldn't give away soda either. What an incredible situation we found ourselves in here. <laughs> I mean, first off, like these airlines have like way more than 5,000 passengers a day. Secondly, I would like to think that if I was flying 5,000 people at $1,000 a head on a daily basis, I would probably just give them the fucking can. Because that's like, you know, $5 million in revenue. And we're talking about a business where a plane is like $180 million a year or something like that. So why, why is the can... I wonder if we could do that, actually. Like, why is the can where they try to save the margins? Just doesn't make sense to me. It's a weight thing? There's no way it's a weight thing. You know how why I know it's not a weight thing? Because if you ask for an alcoholic beverage, they give you like 900 different options. Oh, would you like Johnny Walker Red or Johnny Walker Black? Johnny Walker Blue? Johnny Walker... Why don't you just take one Johnny Walker and give the people the can of OJ? I'm telling you, it's despite the cuss. I agree. I think it's I think it's spite. I do understand that airlines have thin margins, even though it doesn't make any damn sense to me. Um, but I'm like, man, you know, when I go to the the movies and they're like, well, if you really support the movie theater, you should buy some concessions because that's where they make their money. I'm like, I accept that. Not that I'm necessarily going to do it every time. But if they're like, man, if you enjoy your airline, you should really... <laughs> respect the fact that they can only serve you half a can of soda. I'm like, ah, this ticket was $700. You're making $1.50 by min-maxing the can of soda? I don't know about that one. It just... It might be right, but it doesn't feel right. Let's put it that way. No. No. What are you doing here? You're just going down, right? Good stuff. Good stuff. Where are we going? What's next? What's next? This one? We can live with this one. What are you doing here? Do a physical attack, please. That's not a physical attack. That was my greed. Could you use the weapon at your disposal? A dollar fifty for a million customers is a million and a half dollars. I feel like I'm taking crazy pills. Yes, it's a it's a million and a half dollars. Why don't you look up United Airlines annual revenue? I'm not saying they don't care about the million and a half dollars. I'm just saying... <laughs> million and a half dollars is over. They probably have like 250,000 employees. Oh, no. Yeah, plus they're not paying a buck fifty a can. I don't buy it. You think they're paying... European Union prices for Coca-Cola in America? In bulk? Absolutely not. You saw why the CEO of United is just, uh... He's going up to the vending machine in LAX. And just getting it can by can. Farm to table. High fructose corn. So no! You screwed me. You screwed me. So what you should do is in your carry-on luggage, put two cases of soda 
and then just start selling it for like 25 cents a can once you get on the, the plane. Just start undercutting them. It stonks, baby. Drinking soda is bad in the first place. Just drink water. Here, here's my philosophy. On the airplane, you can do whatever the hell you want without inconveniencing other people. Uh, and no one should judge you for it because of the fact that you're 35,000 feet in the air and you might die. So if you want to drink like a soda, you normally don't drink a soda. If, if drinking a little bit of a syrupy... If drinking a syrupy beverage is going to make you feel better, then go ahead and drink that syrupy beverage. You can have a little soda as a treat. <clears throat> what if you wanted to jerk it in your chair? This is what I said without uh, inconveniencing others. I built it into the joke because I've... You know, this isn't my first day on the internet. Oh, so I could kill somebody and it would be okay because I'm on an airplane? I could commit murder? That one, I, I just wasn't willing to waste the Estus. I gave us a 50% chance of surviving the fall. I already feel bad enough uh, for the flight attendants. That they got to, uh, they got to hawk the duty free halfway through the flight. And I'm like, man, I'm flying like, you know, Vancouver to San Francisco. It's an hour and a half long. I don't need to, I don't need to buy two liters of scotch. Send them. No. What are you talking, Josh? You're becoming Chad. I'm flying first class. I don't need to hear from the broke ass folks. What are you talking? You know who's buying duty free? It's the fat cats. They're selling like you know Rolex watches in there and five hundred dollar perfume. No one's scraping together their dimes to fly, and then they're like, "Oh, you know what I could really go for? Uh, Louis the Thirteenth." Cognac. It's 30% off. It'd be stupid not to buy it. You son of a gun. We lived. Is it Louis the 13th? I was taking a guess. Oh, I forgot. That's a two-piece. Well, we die in one hit anyway, so... Sometimes. We can afford to wait this one out. What are you doing here? What are you doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Easy money. No, not easy money. Hard money. Some of the hardest money ever made. Bleed, you son of a bitch! No, what? The wind? The wind hurt me? You're doing great. Bait it, bait it, bait it.
screen management. That was actually a pretty good fight. That was a good fight. <laughs> I can get down with that one. That was solid. Soul of a hero. I need the soul of a hero at the end of the day. All right, very nice, very nice. Can live with it. I did die to pinwheel like three times, I'll admit. Oh, we don't have a lantern, brother. All right, I think the next step is, yeah, let's let's actually not go down here. Let's homeward bone, get a couple of levels. Oh, you're right, I do. Probably, when I say a couple of levels, yeah, literally one level. Okay. And then, uh, I think we should go to the deep fried. Mr. Deep Fried. So we'll probably die a few times making this happen, but it is what it is. Really, we're looking for... Again, if we can find a merchant that sells Titanite. You're basically like a piece of garbage. <laughs> Let me in, please. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm free. Oh, I'm still free. No, 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 don't, no, no. Get, dude, why is my Estus not on default? That's like very bush league strategies. How are we gonna beat this cat, dude? How are we gonna beat this cat? Hello, hello, may I, may I, may I, may I? I'm trapped. I'm trapped. And this is very, very bad news for this guy. This is a terrible way to go. I'm free. Did you see the speed with which we hit the ground? We hit terminal velocity in like a millisecond. I should have known that one was coming. <laughs> hey. Hold on. Give me the strats, okay? Give me the strats on normal, normal path. Because I thought we could go down through the back door and get there that way. You want to drop down the spiral staircase. Oh, my God. It's a long trip. I can live with it. Still live with it. You can also get to the second bonfire. Okay. Okay, let's do it.